Hello everyone, this is Surain. Welcome to my channel Adam and Algorithm. In this short video, we are going to see what's the major difference between a public static variable and a public non-static variable. Uh, we are going to learn this with a very small example. As you can see in front of me, I have a very simple scene. I have a ground object and I have a player and I have a multiple uh, copies of the player. Most of the times it's a reverse situation for us which is we will have one player and I have many enemies. Well, whatever the case is. Well, let me quickly explain the setup uh, for this. Uh, for example, this player, this ball right here, has a, a component called player life. So what it has it in it is, let me just quickly go to the player life, okay. So in this script, it's a very simple. We, I have a public static integer where the life says one, okay? And I have in the update function, at any point of time, if the life goes less than one, the player dies. Destroy this game object, that's it. Nothing fancy about it. And I do have another script attached to my ground. So that script reads this way. I have an on collision enter 2D, which means the ground is waiting for some other object to collide with it. And when that happens, the ground will check if the colliding object tag is player. If the condition is yes, then reduce the player life of life by one. Well, let me quickly tell you what happens is I have a public static variable in here. So this variable life can be accessed from this C sharp script to this C sharp and it can be accessed to any number of C sharp script as far as this is static. Now, Accessing a static variable from another C sharp, uh, C sharp script is really easy because it's just one line of code. Player life, which is nothing but the name of the C sharp script where your static variable is declared dot what is the name of your static variable and do whatever you want to do right here. Well, this is pretty easy. Now let's go ahead. What happens? When I play, when this object touches the ground, the ground will check whether the player's tag name is um, player. As you can see, it is. So what it will do, the ground will reduce the life of the player by one. And in my script, in the player life, I already said the life is just one. So when it hits the ground, essentially the character, I mean the player, will die. Okay, let's check. Let's go ahead here. Let me hit the play button. It has rigid body, so it falls automatically. It falls, whoa. Okay, that's not correct. As you can see, I have more than one copy of the player, but when the first player touches the ground, I am hoping that only this player will die, but the rest of the copies of the object is being deleted. So what's it happening? That's exactly what we are going to see with this small example. Now, the only problem with the static variable is there can be only one instant of a static variable in your whole scene. For example, in my scene, I have a variable called life and I have declared it at static. So across my scene, whenever I say life, I mean this variable. Okay, so what happens is, since there can be only one instance of this life variable, when the ground is reducing the value of life by one, essentially, since there is only one instance, wherever the life variable is being used, everything got reduced. And that's why when the first player touches the ground, 
instead of that only player getting deleted, all other players are deleted because their lives are also became zero. So this is the problem with static, public static variable. So hope this example will make you understand why you should not use public static variable unless and until you are not going to have another instance of an object. Mostly for me, how it happened is when I was a beginner, I'm still a beginner, I'm just saying, but when I started programming, I usually have enemy life as a public static variable because it's really easy for me to declare it and call it from another c -sharp script. What happens is being a simple single player, when you slay your first enemy, the rest of your enemy dies. Well, it would be great in real life, <laughs> but in, in the game actually it doesn't work like that. So that's why you need to learn a way to not to use a static variable, but instead learn uh, instead learn to use a non-static variable in a different script. So how to do that is exactly what we are going to see as a next step right now. All right, so let's go ahead with our coding part. In here, what I'm gonna do is, because static variable has a problem, I'm gonna remove the word static. Now it's just a normal integer of life. Now the problem is, as you can see, as soon as I remove the word static, there is an error in here because I cannot call uh, this variable by mentioning the c -sharp script anymore because this life is not a static anymore. So what I need to do is, now I need to access the component where the script is attached. In other words, when this player touches the ground, the ground needs to go to the player and check for a script component that is being attached, which is this one. So we need to take a reference of this into our script, then we need to delete this object. I mean, then we need to reduce the value of life, which is situated here. So how to do that is we're going to go here in our ground script. We say we're going to actually have declare a game object and we're going to call it whatever the object is just collided. We just call it just collided. Just collided object. Just collided is equal to which object we are having the other dot game object other dot game object okay so now going back to it so what we can do now is we need to take the component ready which is just collided dot get component so what is the component we are getting the script what is the name of the script it's given right here which is player life so we say player life okay and at the end but what we are doing life because now we are accessing the component and we are actually taking the um, integer which is declared inside that uh, c-sharp script life and reduce it by one so what we are doing now is, I have already explained, now we are actually assigning a recently collided object into a variable, into a game object variable called just collided. And we are accessing the script attached to that collided object and we are reaching the variable that is declared inside the C sharp and reducing it by one. I can able to split this line and I can write it in three or four, or three or, or two or three lines, but this would be just fine. I think I am explaining as simple as possible. Now let's go ahead and play our game and see whether everything works or not. So I'm gonna just click the play button. And there we go. So when the first ball hits, only that instance of the script got changed and the other player which are not collided yet with the ground are safe. So that's exactly what we want in this. So hope I understand that you guys get the problem with using public static variables. Okay.
please remember again a public static variable there can be only one variable in that name exist in your unity scene which means you cannot use it with a multiple instance um, game object best thing is enemies okay so hope this uh, helps you and if you have come this far in this video uh, you actually like the content of the channel and this video so please do subscribe to my channel and I will come up with a lot of other free stuff for you guys and unless and until I meet you guys with my another video it's bye from me so take care bye bye guys